There's a new 48th episode of Skibidi Toilet. It is very short, but at the same time it hides a lot of details that you have not noticed. We are shown a city that is almost all on fire. Before that we were shown what happens on the outskirts of the city and there were only ruins. Because of this, I'm going to assume that this episode takes place in the past. Before the events of episode 47, this also confirms the night. In the first frames we are shown a sign that says help is coming. Perhaps this is a hint that soon we will see new agents or that mysterious character from the past series that will somehow help the agents. Next we see a flying Skibidi helicopter with a weapon, which is apparently rushing to someone's aid. But his mistake was flying so low. An agent jumps on him from the roof of a building and falls with him exploding. I think this scene shows us that things are so bad in the city that the agents have to sacrifice themselves to at least contain the Skibidi toilets while waiting for help. This is confirmed by the dead agents themselves that we were shown. By the way, when he falls, we see a new banner that says, he is watching. This is most likely a reference to the Dafa character as well. Our cameraman turns around and sees a crowd of Skibidi toilets with TV man's anti-hypnosis goggles on. By the way, I noticed one detail, that one of these Skibidi toilets is coming out of the fire. And you've already noticed that all Skibidi toilets have an unusual color. I have theorized that these Skibidi toilets with this body have a huge resistance to fire, and they were specially designed for such battles when the city is on fire. On the left, as always, there is a banner, this time with the inscription change. This is a sign that soon the balance of power will change again, and the agents will start to dominate. Whether it will be helped by the Titan or the unknown man is unclear, but the change will definitely happen. Then we are shown the same agent character with a plunger, but this time he found a second one somewhere. How did he get here? After all, relatively recently we saw him in the suburbs. I don't know, maybe he was helped out of that TV man's mess. He makes it clear to us that he'll deal with the skibbity toilets, and then our cameraman starts covering him from behind. And we can see by his white suit and anti-parasitic weapon that this is the same agent scientist from the same series who was with Agent Ventus in that battle. So not only did they both escape, they both won and somehow made it into the city. The scientists use the weapon on Agent and he helps him fend off the attack. By the way, when the scientists fire the anti-parasitic weapon, you can see the human character on the right. So the, he is watching banner refers to him. And as we can see, the plunger easily coped with five skibbity toilets. Apparently he is much stronger than a normal agent. By the way, when he goes to deal with them, we see another banner that says pottery from around the world. I hope you know that skibbity toilets are essentially made of ceramic. To me, this means that perhaps soon all the toilets will gather from all the territories for a big battle. It would seem that the attack is repulsed, but here's what happens at the end. There's a new mutant again, but this time a very strange one. He flies around on a big saw disc and his eyes are closed, but this time they're red. It seems to me that this is a new way of defense against TV mans. After all, the goggles are very fragile and can be easily broken even by a normal bump or sound wave, and these glasses will be harder to break. By the way, most likely our character scientist died, but not a plunger. You can see how he managed to get hit by the saw, so I think we'll see him in the future.